Brittany Alyssa. Oh man, my bad everyone. I put Turb on the microphone at the wrong time. <laughs> Say Ladies hi. And I know one hi. More hi. 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 Here, guys.
drink, he had no idea what he was talking about. So someone would finish an epic routine, and he would just be like, wow, she, she really held on to the pole there. <laughs> and, and Vertical Joe was just like, yeah, she did. Because <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> so, but she handled that with as much grace as required. All right, how does this pole fucking go? Oh my God. Yeah, no, I mean, I see it. I see it. <laughs> Do we need the spray again? No, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. I think, yeah. It's her fault. I just, I just, I just, <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? I just, I just, <laughs> it'll be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and introduce our next competitor, aka not competitor, because we're not competing tonight. Non-competitor, yes. Introducing Carter Webb. Fantastic. Carter is based out of Louisville. She does have a background in dance. She has been training pole and aerial arts for over six years. Wow. In 2018, she received second place at Pole Sport Organization Southern Pole Championships in Entertainment Level 3. And then just last year, she was first place uh, at PSO's Midwest in Dramatic Level 4. Oh my god! Oh my god. Guys, she's already a winner. What? She is currently a marketing director and a performer for Cirque Louis in... Cirque Louis? Cirque Louis. Louis. Cirque Louis. I'm not from Louisville. Anyway, in Louisville, uh, she's pretty well known for her costuming passion, and I have a funny feeling we'll get to see some of that talent tonight. I mean, we can already tell. She's backstage, though. Shh. Uh, her favorite fandom is no secret, so before she takes the stage, I'd just like to say, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. And may the force be with you, girl.
ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause. Good. Are you out some money? Too? Are you handing me a Corona? Do you want one? I mean, sure. Okay, I'll get you one. <laughs> she wants to give me a Corona. <laughs> I'm also gonna need some hand sanitizer. You out use that. this. Oh, I was like, where's the here? Can you get this? All right, this? so we're sorry, a set of you're good. Rules. Okay. Okay, so we're not allowed to have shorts that are too short. We're not supposed to wear shoes. We can't do suggestive movements. That is. <laughs> I do suggestive movies. We have no idea here, not the Arnold. <laughs> but one thing that they have at the Arnold, and they did do it this year, they have the figure modeling competition. And these lovely women who worked incredibly hard to prepare their bodies for this competition walk out in the heels. The really big, clear plastic heels. And we're all looking at them like, but why can't we wear the heels? So I'm just saying, okay. I just want to point that out in front of a crowd that we're very sad. They don't let us wear the heels, Yours but they there. let them wear the heels. What? Yours is right there. So I'm wearing the heels. I didn't come around. And not the armor. Hi, other case now. All right, right, let's go ahead and introduce our next commit. Oh, hold on. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Hello. Oh my gosh. Here. I like Okay. <laughs> Next up we have Courtney Keller. Oh my god. Such cheers. Such cheers. Carter. You did so good. Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, I love Lexington. Yes. Lexington. We got some people. Yeah. She has been dancing on and off for seven years, but she became consistent with her training about four years ago. She is known by her fellow performers as the Peacock. Ooh. Yes. Shake she's it. All sorts of peacock-like costume materials over there. We love it because she loves to be the center of attention. Courtney loves creating routines based on strong character focal points and performs best when she can hear a crowd cheering for her. So
like, I don't know, like 0.5% credit. <laughs> yes, thank you. I do try. All right, so one thing that they have, the Arnold, that they don't, we don't really have here is the fantastic statue, right? Are we all familiar with the fantastic statue of Arnold outside the convention center? We do not have the fantastic statue, but we do have someone who can show us what it looks like for just a moment. Yeah. We have yeah.
horrible. Thank horrible.
my god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren Frisky. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. <laughs>